Yo, I am Eumonic, and all you need is a phone. Welcome to the second video in a series of tutorials in no particular order, brought to you by BandLab. This video is about the mix editor for phones. I'm gonna show you how to use it so you can make more music. I also need to go get my phone. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, of course, left my phone here in my recording studio which you may not have, but if you have one of these, you can get started with making music using the BandLab mobile app. And it all starts when you push this red button. And you are greeted with colors and options and an invitation up at the top. Let's make music. Sounds like fun, but let's go through the tracks, starting from the left, moving to the right. First, you have import track. So audio files or MIDI files that you have on your mobile device can be imported into BandLab and you can use them in your projects. Voice slash mic tracks. Of course you can record vocals, but this is using your mobile device's microphone that's built in or an external microphone and you can record whatever sound you want. It's an audio track, so you're recording audio. Looper, this is a personal favorite of mine. When I first opened BandLab over a year ago, this is what got me hooked. It's really simple to use. Tempo and key synced where you can trigger loops and add effects and just play around. It's a whole lot of fun. It's constantly getting better, so stay tuned for that. MIDI instruments are virtual instruments that you can play like a real instrument that have either been sampled or synthesized and you can use them in your BandLab projects. The last two, guitar and bass. Now these are audio tracks that have effects presets that are applicable to guitar or bass to get things sounding good. After creating a new track for a new project or opening an existing project, then you'll be in the mix editor. If you didn't see my last video that I did on BandLab, you're missing out. Things got a little wild at the end of it. Rewind, run it back and keep moving forward. Make more music, that is your reward. You were born to create. <laughs> That song was entirely made in BandLab. I made it on my computer, and now I'm opening that same project here on my mobile device. The mix editor on mobile is simple. It's intuitive. If you just invite yourself to push a few buttons, figure things out, maybe make a few mistakes, you'll be making music on BandLab mobile in no time. Starting at the top, we'll work our way through those and then move throughout this mix editor. And I'm just gonna give you highlights. The little waveform, button, probably the most important button because that's where all the good stuff happens. That's where you capture your realness as an artist or whatever you're doing. You could be recording a podcast. I'll calm down. The next one is a pencil and this is where you can store notes. Maybe you're collaborating with somebody and you don't want to forget things, ideas, and of course, lyrical content. Next is the gears button. This is all settings. You got the key and the key signature. Set the key F major, set the speed 100 and the time signature I write four, four. Below that, BandLab has a built-in tuner. I'm disappointed though because ukulele, bass, guitar. What about the banjo? Come on, BandLab. Under that are some important things about recording. Probably the most important is the latency fix. Latency is an issue especially on Android, and it's not just a BandLab thing. Yes, they're paying me, but they didn't pay me to say that. I've used all kinds of music production apps on Android and iOS. Android, just the way that it's built. I don't know, Google's gotta do something about that. All right, all right, there's other settings in here that I'm not gonna cover because most of them are self-explanatory. If you catch any snags, comment down below. I'm glad to help, but we're not gonna be making any music staying in the settings page. Back to the mix editor. And just like that, I'm all set up. Let's make music. I got a little jam session ready to happen right now. Got the Tysco overdrive pedal, gonna record some guitar, gonna record some vintage little pocket synthesizer. If you're curious about this, I'll have a video up on it on my channel soon. Everything is gonna be processed through the BandLab Link Digital Audio Interface, recording everything into it. And then of course my headphones are coming out of that as well. The looper is my favorite, so I'm gonna start with that. There's this pack that I found earlier mid-tempo electronica and i got this beat and percussion loop that i want to record but first there's this sound and it just repeats too often so i'm going to change that from a loop to a one shot so it just plays once and then stops Go ahead and turn those off. 
So that's my loop. Boom. Okay, not bad. On to the Casio VL Tone. And I'm going to use a bass track and turn on one of the effects. Let's see how this sounds. Something with some delay. Ah, that's awesome. I'll use that preset, then just record a simple progression. Okay, so that wasn't perfect, but this is what's cool. You can go ahead and edit. So tap, slice, and I'm gonna shift this one over. I went too early on it, actually. Let's turn that down in the mixer just a little bit. You see that orange, beautiful guitar back there? Yeah, it's time for that. Also, make sure I'm in tune. The guitar is far more amazing than my guitar playing skills is. In fact, I recently put out a video of different recording techniques I use to overcome my lack of playable skill. We're all getting better though, so that did it. Let's see how it sounds. That's a good place to start. I think it's important to capture inspiration while you have it. And then of course I can build on this beat later on. Regardless, I hope this video gave you some helpful information that you can use to get started with making music in BandLab. I highly encourage you to push some buttons. If this was helpful, push the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And there's a playlist right here of more BandLab tutorials to help you get started. Go be creative, make more music. See you next time. Peace.